get by It resides between my eyes Walk through the fire Came out better on the other side See life's like a beach If you find the same And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss, we're here live from the Prosper Show with here with Jay, who is founder of Home Revolution. Jay, you have two different offerings. I want you to talk a little bit about both of them because I want to dig a little bit deeper. Okay. Well, it's important to note that they sort of feed into each other, but if I was to start, it would be from the beginning. So, you know, start all the way back in the beginning. Because you have a lot of history with vacuum parts. Uh, well, I don't know if we're going to go yeah, that far back. Okay. I don't know if you have uh, all day for that. But I, I will say that, you know, it, it's uh, sort of poetic justice for me to be in this business, having started this business with filters, which is something that my grandfather started back in 1938. And we've come full circle through the generations uh, back into this market. And the reason why I re-entered this market if I was to say it as a representative of a family who's been in this business before, uh, is because in 2013, I recognized in one particular space, which was a vacuum uh, uh, replacement space, that there was a gaping hole in, in, you know, to be had, a disruptive opportunity to take advantage of to where we can uh, remove part of the supply chain, at least two layers of the supply chain, and move that margin to sellers that are online. I felt like the sellers were getting the raw end of the deal because they were, they were, they were really tied to a traditional way of doing business and giving all of the margin up to uh, those in the middle that really weren't doing anything. They were just collecting a toll while the sellers were on the front line, bearing the FBA costs, bearing the marketing costs, you know, you know, in an uncertain world of of, uh, of uh, life cycle, and the life cycles were shrinking, and you know, a lot of risk for very little reward. So, the 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 hope was, and it actually turned out to be correct, that we can bring you know an extra twenty to twenty five points to the seller, up, uh, and and that's ended up being the way that it worked out. So now we've started in vacuum. We've expanded our own brands the actual brands themselves, and then within our brands we've expanded categories uh, to span uh, coffee, air purifiers, humidifiers, refrigerators, cars. Um, we're now moving into, we've expanded our tagline to include lifestyle products. We're moving into sewing uh, and crafts. We, uh, do, we're doing backyard pool products. Uh, we want to go into um, recreation now, camping. We have a beverage, a beverage line. And that's just really? the product side. So uh, what we did is we decided we were not going to be direct to consumer. We were only going to be what I've been primarily most of my career, but I was on most on the B2B side in terms of the types of products. But this is B, you know, B2C products, and that was exciting to me. So we uh, rolled out our own listings, really nice listings, fully optimized at this point. And we went across the country to find sellers that were within our sweet spot to have them come into our listings and to sell in our listings, depending on the categories they want to get into, depending on uh, the brands they wanted to get engaged with, with us in. And then what we, what we hoped to do was to help build these sellers to a point where they could then deploy a co-brand model. So we have an interesting co-brand model where if you're a seller and you're doing X number of dollars per year with us, we can literally say, okay, you've matured enough to come out of our listings. Let's register a brand for you. And then we will co-brand with you for a while. And as you demonstrate that you could you know, get to another number, the next level, we will then give you that brand to go with. We'll sign the rights over to you. You know, you'll continue to source from us, and we will then go into a mode where we are engaged by you to do all of your marketing needs. So, this is like a full service thing. This is like this is this is serious business. What business? It's, it's only worthwhile if it's a serious business, you know. So, and it's fun too, by the way. It's a fun, serious business. I don't know if there's such a thing, but I found it. Um, and now we're helping sellers to do their full range of marketing. So on Amazon. You know, when we roll them out to their own brands, or if they come to us with a brand, and we've never dealt with them on the sourcing side, 
they are, and we know that they are very, very committed to a, to really building their business solidly from the ground up, no shortcuts, putting the sweat equity in, wanting to grow and, and develop, then we will say, okay, step right into our seller's choice offering, which is probably the most exciting thing we're introducing now to the general market of sellers, not just our own sellers, you know, where they could come in and use us for their own brand uh, optimization, their Amazon optimization, their listing optimization. They can help, we can help them move into other marketplaces to expand. We can help them platform for e-commerce platforms. We prefer to shop Shopify. We, we're very, uh, very interested in that platform and working with it. Um, we can then do a whole range of social media for them so we can help them build their brand. We do original content, whether it's imagery or actual written content. We have amazing writers that we work with. Uh, and you know, sometimes it's the individual founder of the company that wants to build the brand, and then the company sort of falls into line around that personal brand. We can do that, or we can just go straight to their brand and have constant uh, original content coming out to support building their community. So then when they launch a new product, and hopefully they source that new product through us, they can put it right through the, the full range of, of the channel, through their community that we've helped them build, and they have a shot in the arm from day one to be able to launch. So over the years, you've built your expert building businesses in e-commerce. What are some big mistakes you see people making in the space? Hmm, that's an interesting mm -hmm. question. Um, I think the shortcuts is really a problem for people. Yeah. What are people shortcutting? You find because they're coming to you too, in you know, in different capacities. Right, just these ideas that you can buy viewer you know, you, on social media that you can just step in and, and buy a community or that you can, on Amazon, you can try to figure out ways to get to the top of the page. It's all temporary, you know, it's, no one can promise you that they can keep you there. You end up spending all this money up front, you get great traction, but it's like with any, it's like with caffeine, for example, right? It's, it's great for a then couple of minutes, crash. and then you crash. And once you crash, if you think that the, uh, the algorithm or whatever it is that's behind that is gonna uh, react favorably to your crash as they did to you coming up, it's, it's gonna be very hard to recover from that uh, when you do that. So we don't, everything for me comes from the founder. It's harder to take a longer term approach than right, a quick fix like that. If, if you're not willing to take a, a longer term approach in everything you do, yeah. Not slow and steady wins the race. You could be aggressive, but steady. <laughs> but steady is really the word, yeah. right? Balance, steady, there is a formula to do this. And you, you know, depending on how you approach it, that determines if you're serious or if you're not serious, if you're really trying to build equity, or if you're just trying to take a quick hit. We want to deal with the companies that are trying to build real equity. Yeah. So. so a success story that sticks out to you, whether it's your own brand or someone using you, what's uh, one that sticks out to you? So one of our initial sellers, uh, very, very uh, special guy, uh, I'm not going to be specific about it right now, but you know, he started in our, in our brand. He probably populated uh, every listing we've come out with, maybe variations aside, I would say every original listing we've come out with, and he reached that point quickly, he was our first test several years ago to then move him into a co-brand model. We moved him into a co-brand model, he reached those targets very quickly, we did all the optimized... So you have to hit a certain target for them to reach a, the co-brand? Yeah, there's, there's a dollar spend target yeah. that, and we don't want them to just spend the dollars, we want them to actually move, sell through is very important for us. Right. We do not want them want to incurring... Them yeah, I don't. I, don't, I want them turning. Turn, turn, turn. Right. I want to turn. I want them to turn. I want them to be a reflection of what we do in our business practice. This way, I know they're doing business the right way. So, just to throw product at them. And I also, if we have 300 products, I want them going wide, not deep. I don't want to see sellers that are coming to us and trying to buy 10,000 of something so they can try to conquer a listing. I don't want that. That's disaster. I want them coming and saying, "Hey, give me a case of everything." It's the same spend. But they are fully, you know, they're, they're leveraged. And I like that, you know, and they're hedging themselves. Hedging is important, yeah. especially with the way that life cycles are going right now. So would you say that's a unique viewpoint for people? Like, would, are people giving advice to go deep and not wide? Because I feel like people are, I like when people give advice that is against the grain. And I feel like that is somewhat against the grain of what people give. You well, tell me. It depends who the people are. If the people are looking for them out for themselves, and they don't think a seller is ne is worth looking at uh, a month from now, and they just want to take a quick hit and move on to the next guy, 
sure, that's a philosophy. I don't, I don't, that's not in my blood. I don't have that in my blood. Right. I want to build a relationship, a partner. I want to be able to turn to them uh, a month from now and say, hey, look what we did. I want to be able to turn to them three years from now and say, whoa, we did this. We went through the phases and look where you are. And now you actually have something you can sell. You actually have an asset, yeah. you know? And it, it, you know, that's just, it's just a matter of who you're talking to. This is who I am. This is what I want. Um, and it could be a smaller group, but quality is what I'm looking yeah. for. So, Jay, for you, what's been a especially proud milestone in the company um, that you look back on and you're like, wow, I can't believe we accomplished this? I, I actually think it's right now. The fact that we are at the point where we can offer uh, the seller's choice, which is the services side of the business, outside of our own network of sellers, I, that's a turning point, and that was actually part of our original plan as phase two, and we are on target for phase two. That's great. So, so um, last thing is, I always ask on a personal note, um, so people get to know you, a bucket list item that um, you want to do something in your lifetime or you want to see something in your lifetime. What's a bucket list item you have uh, for you or, or your family? Interesting. Um, I, it, would, it would definitely have to do with my kids. I've got three boys, and uh, they're all at different stages of their lives right now. But I think if I could find a way, when they're all at an, a decent age, to throw backpacks on and just do a tour around the safe parts of the world, and maybe some unsafe parts also, have really good adventures, take a lot of pictures, and just lock in who we are, you know, through a, a, an adventure like that... Um, that, to me, that's something I'm striving uh, toward All right. right now. All right. I so. love that. From Prosper Show, where should we point people towards, Jay? Online. Uh, www.homerev.com. H-O-M-E-R-E-V. Visit us. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire. Came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. 